I'm Teresa Jackson. Today I'm going to explain for you what a metadata conflict warning is. If you see one of these icons in your Lightroom catalog, well that means that you have a metadata conflict. I know it sounds pretty intimidating, but let me assure you it's very common and not a serious problem. First, let me show you what each of these icons mean, then I will walk you through how they happen and what to do about it. This first image of the skull in my library here is a Photoshop document. We can tell because it says PSD up here and down on this line it says uh, .psd as well. So if we come over to the metadata panel, which is in the library module, we see this line here that says metadata status changed on disk. So this icon with the three lines and the arrow pointing up means that something's been changed in this file on the disk, but it was done behind Lightroom's back. It was done outside of Lightroom, but Lightroom knows that some change was made to it. The second image of the dragon float has a slightly different icon on it, and this is a raw file. And if we come over here and we look at the metadata status, it says conflict detected. So something was done to this image outside of Lightroom that's in conflict with something that was done inside of Lightroom. In this last image here, it doesn't have any warning, but if we select it and we look at the metadata status for this, it says that it has been changed. So Lightroom has changed the metadata information for this image, and that information only lives inside of Lightroom at this point. It's been changed inside of Lightroom, but the image outside on the hard drive does not see that change that Lightroom made. Let's go back and I'll walk you through how these were created. All right, I've removed the metadata warnings from these images and I'm going to walk you through how those metadata warnings most often happen. We'll start with this Photoshop file. I want to do some edits to it. What typically happens is you know where the Photoshop file is on your computer. You want to just jump into it really quick and make an edit, but you don't want to open Lightroom and go through Lightroom. This happens, I do this all the time myself. For this first scenario of a Photoshop file or maybe a TIFF file for layers, I'm going to quit out of Lightroom and find that image on my finder and open it in Photoshop directly from the finder. I've found these images on my hard drive and I'm just going to double click on the skull to open it in Photoshop. Now we're here in Photoshop. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to do a really quick and obvious edit and add a black and white adjustment layer. So I'll come up here to my adjustments add a black and white adjustment layer and now this image is black and white so if I save it I'm going to save this file now that the file saved I'm going to switch back to my finder and we'll see that the preview on the finder updated to black and white now let's open Lightroom back up and see what we see there all right, we're back in Lightroom and we can see that Lightroom recognized the edit that was done to the Photoshop file. The preview is updated to black and white, but it's giving us this, this conflict warning because we did that edit outside of Lightroom. It's pretty easy to get rid of. All you have to do is click right on that icon, you get this message, and you can just say import settings from disk. Basically, it's going to import the modification date that was created in the metadata when you edited it in Photoshop outside of Lightroom. So we'll just say import settings from disk and now that icon's gone and this picture is in good shape. If you go through Lightroom to open your Photoshop files or your TIFF files, you're not going to get that metadata conflict warning. I'll do a command E to open this and I want to edit the original. That's the only way that I'm going to retain those layers that are there. So let's open this in Photoshop. I'm going to turn off the black and white layer and save the file. Now I'm going to return to Lightroom and you'll see the preview is updated to color and we don't have any warning because we went through Lightroom to make that edit. Now let's go through that same process with a raw image file and see what we get with that. I'm going to double click on this dragon image which is going to open Camera Raw in Photoshop. I'll take the saturation all the way out of this image and click the Done button. Now back in the Finder, we see a new file showed up, this XMP file. We refer to these as sidecars. It contains all the edits. 
The finder can't preview the edit though, so we still see this image in color, even though I changed it to black and white. This is why I prefer to view my finder with Adobe Bridge. I'm going to drag this folder right over the bridge icon, which will launch Bridge and take us directly to that folder. We can see here in Bridge that the dragon image is now black and white. This icon up here shows us it has an edit. I'm back in Lightroom now and we can see that Lightroom does not reflect the black and white edit that I made outside using Camera Raw, but it does have the metadata conflict warning. If we come over here, the metadata status says changed on disk. What's happening here, I'm going to switch to the develop module with the D key. Now that I'm in the develop module, we can see the sliders here that this image has some edits. So I edit it here in Lightroom, and I also edit it outside of Lightroom, and that's what the conflict is. The conflict is saying, hey, which one of these edits do you want to use? Let's switch back to the library module here. Do you want to use the edit here that you did in Lightroom, or do you want to use the edit that you did with Camera Raw outside of Lightroom? We'll go back to the grid view here. So click on the icon of the warning, and you get to answer the question, which one of those edits do you want to use? If I say import settings from disk, this image is going to change black and white because it's going to pull the edit that I made outside of Lightroom. If I click overwrite settings, Lightroom is going to ignore the edit that I made outside of Lightroom and honor the one I made inside. I would say 99% of the time, for me, this is the one that I'm choosing because I didn't really want to mess with this file outside of Lightroom. So I'm going to say overwrite settings. This icon goes away. Over here, metadata status shows up to date. Metadata conflicts don't always have to be about editing. Let's look at this sun image here. The metadata status says that it has been changed, but I haven't done any edits to this image. What's been changed inside of Lightroom is that I added a copyright to this image when I imported it. So we can see that I used a copyright preset and it has my copyright information. Let's switch to Bridge and see what we see there. When we view the metadata panel for this image in Bridge, none of that copyright information shows here. It only resides inside of Lightroom at this point, so Bridge can't see it. I can save this metadata copyright information by simply doing a Command S or a Control S, or I can click on this icon right in the corner where it says metadata status has been changed. If I click this, it's going to ask me, do I want to save it to the disk? Sure, let's save it to the disk, then we'll switch back to Bridge and see what, what's there. After saving the copyright metadata status outside of Lightroom, Bridge can now read that information. Bridge can also edit this information, and sometimes this will create a metadata conflict as well. Let's come down here to Title and give this image a title, Hollywood. And then switch back to Lightroom, we'll see what happens there. Back in Lightroom, this image now has the conflict warning changed on disk, and we can see here metadata status changed on disk. This time if I click on this, I'm going to say import settings from disk, and pay attention over here where the title field is. If I import settings from disk, it will pull the title information that I added outside using Bridge, and it pulls that into Lightroom. So now there's no conflict with the metadata status. Hopefully this clears up any confusion or worries you might have had about metadata conflict warnings. Just remember that any time you make a change to an image outside of Lightroom, you will create a conflict with the information that is stored inside of Lightroom. You resolve that conflict by deciding which set of information to honor, the one stored inside of the Lightroom catalog or the one that you made outside of Lightroom.